Hello everyone, welcome to Code with Femi. Symmetric encryption is a type of encryption where only one key, a secret key, is used to both encrypt and decrypt electronic information. And as you can see in right in front of me, you have a plain text. Let's say you have my secret and you want to encrypt that into some, you know, you want to put in a cipher text so that people would not be able to see what that my secret is. You use the actual key to encrypt it and that would give you a cipher text and then you use that same key to decrypt it Decrypt, decrypt it means that you want to actually reverse the encryption for you to be able to see what the plain text is and it's going to give you back your plain text and in this video we're going to be looking at how github copilot helps us to implement the actual methods for encrypting and decrypting a plain text so stay tuned Back in the days when you do pair programming, it's actually you're doing with uh, another human being. But now you can actually do pair programming with, with AI, which is artificial intelligence. And this is quite amazing. So GitHub Copilot is actually an AI that actually helps you to code much faster. I know there's a bunch of videos online that is actually saying like, uh, you know, GitHub Copilot is here to take um you know our jobs as software developers but i, I don't think that it's going to happen anytime soon but i, I want to believe that github copilot has a lot to actually offer from what i can actually tell you um you know what is actually github copilot before we even go any further you can see right here that github copilot is actually um it uses open ai codex and open ai codex is an artificial intelligence model developed by open ai and it passes na natural language you can see there and generate codes in response so you give it like you can you can give it english and it will give you back like program a programming code which is quite amazing it is used to power github copilot a programming auto completion to develop visual studio code codex is descendant of open ai's gp3 gpt3 model which is quite amazing you know this is really nice where you know um, copilot is like you train it you give it a lot of you know data and based on that it can actually even help you to code much faster suggest you know some better ways of writing the actual code and the thing is i'm going to actually show you guys this now and also this is um so for 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 some of us that want to like try this out it's still actually on that technical pre preview and i just got my access like not long ago and so i'm really excited to actually show you guys something very simple something straight to the point i know that there's a lot of videos out there but i really don't want to like you know you can see what you can do where you can give you can actually specifically like type english this is pure english and it would actually generate the actual equivalent code to you know you can see there which is quite amazing this is really nice uh, and um also you can actually look at this doc you can actually check out this doc and actually you know go through it and you know go through the the actual and actually go through it and there's even frequently asked questions you can go there and actually read more about this and also even if you check here on github this is actually the actual source code um docs um for for copilot and in here this is where you can actually install it on your computer and all of that so i use visual studio code i'm gonna use visual studio code for this but if you have not been given approval to you know use copilot it would not work on your visual studio code i'm so sorry about that <laughs> you would get actually this um you know this notification when you try to install it on your visual studio code but i'm gonna show you what it looks like currently on mine so it looks like this we've got i've got it installed yeah you can see right there at the at the bottom right um i can deactivate it if i want to if i just want to write the code myself and also one thing i can also show you is under my extension i just i'm just gonna show you that I, i've installed it this is what it looks like you can see the github copilot there it's already installed on my on my computer and 
this was what I actually got to tell me that I can actually use it now. You can see, welcome to GitHub Copilot technical preview. We are thrilled, you know, invite to invite to to invite you to start testing GitHub Copilot. Your feedback will help us make it even better. I've got some feedback for them already, but um, I just want to like show you something very simple. I'm just going to go straight into like a simple demo so that you can actually see how this thing actually plays out. OK, so this is actually a program. What I want to do here is I really want to just create like a like a simple program that actually helps me to encrypt a value and also help me decrypt the actual value using co uh, github copilot so what do i want to do the first thing i want to do is i want to create a, a method to actually like encrypt um the actual you know the actual value i'm not going to use this it's already even suggesting actually things for me this is quite amazing because i've been playing around here but you can see here it's already giving me like a code you know like a method already that does you know that can create an ash for me but i'm not creating an ash i just want to encrypt encrypt a uh, 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 encrypt uh, a value and when i say encrypt encrypt means that you have a plain text like let's say you have hello hello copilot and you want to in a way like um change those values into something someone cannot read and this is when we do it and when we do this is when you have some sensitive data um, so what I want to do is I just want to give it some random statement and see if it's smart enough to actually do what I want it to do. I'm just going to say that I wanted to create an encryption method for me. I'm just going to say encrypts. Uh, let's see. Encrypts a string. Okay, let's say using um, AES. So that's what I want to use. And oh, wow, that's nice. <laughs> but you can see right there that it's actually like grayed out, right? And up there, it's actually so. When is greater like this? It's just telling you that this is the suggestion, the the first suggestion is got for you, and you can choose to actually like um, use it, or you can open up a list of all other suggestions that it actually has because Git and um, the Copilot has like different options that you can actually play with. You can and and this is actually this actually relates to you know you can see right there there are different you know see code you know, options where it tells you okay this is the options I've got I've got option for that I've got you know and you can actually choose which one you want to use but from what I can see here yeah, I think um the actual copilot is not really and I think it's still warming up let me just try again let's see if this actually you know um brings more information i'm just trying to you know let's open this up again because sometimes like it just gives you this um you know information that is not really complete yeah you see there's more code now so your case is because it's still preview mode so you have to forgive you know forgive a co-pilot it's still like warming up you know and learning it's still in a learning phase and i'm sure it's gonna really really surprise you guys when is actually in his you know fully fledged state but yeah you can see different options and this is actually even similar to when you go on to stack overflow and you are looking for an answer like you can see there are different solutions here that and it's similar to that which is really nice where you can actually go through it read through the code really be sure that you know it's actually the code you want to you know you want to really use because you also want to be you want to be sure that you're not just you know just picking up code online and that code is actually not what you should actually be you know be using in your actual um, project so just have to be careful when you do that because um yeah so you don't have the wrong code or the wrong bug. i'm just gonna pick one of this and see if that actually works for us so we have this now which is actually the encrypt method you see i did not write a single line of code all i was just doing is giving a, an english statement and it's generating the actual code for me isn't that beautiful <laughs> so let's do the next one which is i want to decrypt so you can see it's smart enough to know that i want to the next thing is i want to do a decrypt i want to decrypt the actual um you know uh, um um, cipher text and in there you can see that's already giving me the actual option you know that that is good i'm just gonna tab or you can just click on that so let's tab and let's see you see i've generated two actual um good nice uh method i can use now i have an encryption method i have a de um, de decryption method thanks to copilot <laughs> And then what I can do is I can actually come in here now to use those things to actually do encryption and decryption. Okay. So first thing I want to do is I'm just going to create a variable and say encryption 
okay encryption sorry encryption um result and is equals to i'm going to call encrypt encrypt and then escape and then in there i want to just say um hello copilot actually that's what i want to say hello co pilot right that's what i want to encrypt that's the actual text i really want to encrypt this time and then i have to give it a key so this key must be um, 16 characters based on the actual algorithm we're actually using for the encryption and um, decryption so just bear that in mind um, you have to read up on aes aes actually stands for advanced encryption standard you can actually like um, read up on it i'll put a link down below to actually go and read up on all of these things but um i just want to show you guys this quickly i don't really don't want to spend too much time you know going into other topics but yeah you can actually just give it 16 key but now I, I i really don't have the time to do that i want to generate more code right so let's go here and just say um create a method to return random string okay let's see what it gives us oh beautiful i love this accept <laughs> you see there we've got a random method okay sometimes you might need to resolve some you know some 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 issues there um on the in the code so still it's still learning but there i've resolved it then it has a random string now i can actually say i want a random string of so i'm just gonna create a a, a, a variable here and call it random sorry random string okay and then in there i'm calling the random string i want 16 characters uh undo i want 16 characters and then that 16 characters i'm actually going to pass it in here okay we have the random string to actually encrypt it and in there we can actually now say just use a string interpolation and then use that and actually say that copilot is now so the value of the encryption um, result will be will be logged here, and also we can now say we can now do the next um, um, you know step, which is actually decrypting it to see if it can actually return back to the you know to the previous state it was, which was this one. Okay, let's copy that and actually say um, decrypt. Okay, and then we just change that decrypt decryption result right, and then we can just copy that and then do that and actually just copy the decryption result and paste that out. so we encrypt we log we decrypt we log so that's all we're doing right and uh, don't forget when you decrypt remember it's actually going to be the actual encryption value not the plain text because we're reversing it back so encryption is going to change this copilot value into uh a, a, a value we cannot really read we can't really interpret we can understand it and then when you decrypt you reversing it you know from whatever uh value th the encryption has given you back to the plain text which should be which would now go back to the hello copilot so just bear that in mind encryption is you 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 making it you changing the text to something that cannot be really understood but decryption is now you reversing that encryption to actually show you you know the actual clear message the plain text so just don't forget about that so when you encrypt you're encrypting the plain text and when you decrypting you're actually decrypting the actual encrypted value ah, okay <laughs> So let's actually run this and actually see what it gives us. Okay. Let's run without debug. Let's see, let's see. Um, this could take a little bit of a while. Okay. So there was the error there. Okay, it seems like there was actually an instance already running somewhere. Oh well, let's see. I think it's actually building up now. You can actually just see what the results are really excited honestly like with the you know the, with the co-pilot because this actually helps development go much faster um although like i said it has its own dis disadvantage because um like developers now would not want to take the extra effort to really understand um, a piece of code 
they might just want to just use copilot to just you know you know finish up things as quick as possible without really understanding what has been developed and i believe that that is actually not great yeah so as you can see here hello copilot is now that encrypted value you can see there's an encrypted value now and hello copilot is now hello copilot so that is what we've been able to achieve by just using copilot to actually write all of this code and copilot is right there it's a small little thing right <laughs> at the at the bottom right right there so i'm really excited and the good thing is you can also turn it off like i said you can disable it click on it it will ask you do you want to disable it globally or you want to disable it for the specific language that you you know busy with. but that is actually what i want to show you um let me know what you guys think about this actual co-pilot and you know what are your thoughts around it and yeah let's have a chat around it and i'll see you in my next video keep well